Masha, you look wonderful as usual. What is this you were saying about the Snow White costume? Oh, did I forget to tell Sonia? Oh, probably. Tell me what. Well, I got a lovely invitation from that extremely wealthy woman who bought the Dorothy Parker house up the road. She's one of our neighbors here, and she's dying to get to know people in the area. So she's throwing a costume party, and she asked me to come. Well, she hasn't asked us to come. Well, you're not famous. She's inviting famous people, and literary people, and interesting people. And, of course, you and Sonia are very interesting. And I told her that. So she wants both of you to come with me and Spike tonight. Spike? Yep, that's my name. Don't wear it out. I'll try not to. Okay, I got the costume and this weird shepherd's thing. Thank you, Spike. Is Spike the name you were given at birth? No, it's my acting name. My real name was Vlad, but my agent said that that was hard to hear. And I was wearing my hair all spiky that day. And he said, why don't you call yourself Spike? And so I do. Spike is a very gifted actor. He was almost cast in the sequel to Entourage. Entourage 2. HBO thought he was wonderful. Yeah, I should have gotten that part. Oh, but darling, you came very close. They brought you into network. You were down to the last three. Yeah, and they put me up in a fancy hotel. Well, of course. Maybe I'll come close to getting another part soon. Well, next time he'll get the part. Yeah, it's only a matter of time. Oh, sorry, uh, who's Spike? Is he your driver? He's my beloved. He looks ten. Oh, Vanya dear, don't exaggerate. He's 29 if he's a day. And I'm only 41, possibly 42. Hello? You're not alone in the room, hello? <laughs> Oh, I'm sorry. This is all rather new for me. Really? You've had five husbands. I like older women. I'm relieved to hear it. Hey, a spark is either there or it's not. Right, Mushy? Oh. Oh. Isn't he adorable? He's attractive. I don't know if he's adorable. Really, Masha? Every time I see you, you make me feel bad. First, you don't even notice me in the room, and you say hello to me as an afterthought. Now here you are, nearing your dotage, and you've hooked up with some young stud. Well, I am forced to live through a succession of tedious days and tedious nights, and I never have fallen in love with anyone, nor anyone with me. I'm sorry I was adopted into this family. I wish I had been left in the orphanage and killed myself. Excuse me. Wow, intense. She's always been jealous of me. I'm really sick of it. I can't help it if I'm beautiful and intelligent and talented and successful, can I? No, I can't imagine you can. But the unhappy orphanage lady thinks I'm a stud. That's nice. What about you? Do you like how I look? <laughs>